I'm sure we've all noticed our koi keeping hobby can be a little expensive. Not everything has to be though. Today we're going to build a very cheap but very effective filter component, an open air or trickle filter. Our goal here is to get the most bang for the buck, so we're going to start with free. Free is good and cheap. <laughs> These plastic soft drink crates were just about to be thrown away by a local convenience store. These are ideal for our cheap filtration project. Perfect, in fact. And we'll look at the reasons why as we go along. The first thing we like about these, well, the first thing we like is that they're free, but they're also stackable. And they already have a perfect grate built into the bottoms. This will allow our water to flow freely through each unit from top to bottom while also holding our biomedia in place. And again, that they're stackable allows us to stack them to any height that we need, and we can easily unstack them for cleaning if cleaning is needed. We'll talk about that later. As a biofilter media, lava rock is very cheap and is among the best options we have. It's earthy or natural, that agrees well with our fish and with beneficial filter bacteria. Consider what makes a natural mud pond tick. Lava rock is also lightweight and has a tremendous amount of surface area. Pores, nooks, and crannies galore. I know what you might be thinking. Lava rock has been given a bad reputation within our hobby, but remember that was way back in the olden days when it was used as a submerged media where it would collect debris, clog, and go anaerobic. Lava rock works very well when used as an open air media where the water is trickled over it and oxygen is plentiful. We're going to start this project with lava rock that has already been in use in another trickle filter for two years, first to prove a point and also because I like to recycle. I'll just hose it off with well water, which has no chlorine. We just scoop in a layer of lava rock and spread it around to about three inches thick. New lava rock should be hosed off too to get rid of the tiny chunks and rock dust. If you have chlorinated city water and need to clean live filter media, obviously you can use a submersible pump and pump your pond water to hose the media off. Next, the trays are just stacked inside a basin. This basin was free too. Some of you might recognize it as an old waterfall base. Whatever you choose to use, be sure it allows the air to flow freely around the stacked trays. The bottom of our basin has a two inch bulkhead fitting. The water will get pumped over the tower of media trays and gravity flow back to the holding tank. This water is oxygen rich and very well filtered when it flows back into the holding tank. We continue filling and stacking the media trays to a height of about four feet. Now 
Next we add a spray bar to flow water over the top tray. You can use your own creativity here. Once the water hits the grate on the first tray it spreads out evenly and will flow evenly throughout the whole tower. Since this is a budget project, the cheapest way to get water to the tower would be to tap off of your main pond pump and plumb some water over to the tower. This would save you the cost of a new pump dedicated solely to this filter tower and would also save on electricity. We're flowing about 1200 gallons per hour over this system. The water is being pumped directly from a gravity fed settling chamber. There's no real pre-filtration being done. Notice how evenly the water flows over all of the media. And also notice that oxygen is able to reach all of the media in every area of the filter tower. This is where the magic is happening. How will this filter hold up over time? Will it clog? Will it collect organics? Let's take a look and see. This is the top tray of the same filter we just built, a year and seven months later. The first thing that's obvious is that this top layer has had a lot of mossy stringy algae growing on it. This filter tower has been operating out in the open, exposed to full sunlight most of the day. The lava rock media itself is not that dirty, and certainly not clogged or anaerobic. This is all algae or plant matter, growing and thriving here. Shading the tower from the sunlight without disrupting the free oxygen flow will solve this issue. Let's take a look at the second layer. There's nearly no mossy algae growing here. There's no slime, no clogging. Look at the pores of the lava rock. There's a lot of mossy algae growth around the edges of the trays where they're exposed to sunlight. Let's look at layer number three now. It's a wee bit stickier in some areas, but still no clogging, no channeling, and the media is still very fresh. This is after over a year and a half of work, never cleaned, on a very heavily stocked koi farm holding tank. And the water wasn't really pre-filtered much before reaching the tower, just pulled from a gravity-fed settling chamber.
Look at the pores of this lava rock. All still open and no slime at all. Okay, a couple of pores have snails living in them. This filter costs less than $50 to make and is doing an incredible job. I'll hose off the top layer and turn it back on for another two years.